Hey guys, how's it going? Once again, it is that time where I take your comments and read them to you. Seems a little silly, but I like doing it anyway, so I'm gonna do it. So, as I've said before, uh, this is something I like to do once a month, where I will take all the comments from my videos of the previous month, and I will read them and respond to them. It's, it's sort of kind of, uh, the best I can do for interacting with you guys until I've got the whole live stream thing figured out. I'm working on it, I swear! I'm just slow and scared. <laughs> anyway, let's get started. You do what you need to do, my friend. We will all wait patiently for the amazing rando to work it out and make vids. Just take your time and there is no pressure at all. Also, <laughs> Watch to the end to hear those magic words. Finishing Aria! At least somebody watches my videos to the end. No, just kidding, I'm sure some of you do. I should also mention that for context for some of these comments, you can always go to the video that it came from. But yes, this vlog was where I had mentioned my attempt at changing my schedule routine. I'm actually surprised that I've been able to keep this routine as regular as I have, despite missing a few videos here and there. And every time I try and do something outside of the normal Let's Play format, I end up setting it aside for way too long. I still owe you guys videos on the Zelda series, like I'd mentioned like... three months ago? Did did you eat like 64 chocolate bars before recording? You're hysterical! I hope the week-based recording sessions will turn out okay. I have no idea what you're talking about. No, despite my usual, like, calm and sort of blasé nature that shows up in my Let's Plays because I'm concentrating more on figuring out what the hell I'm doing rather than shooting my mouth off. I do have a tendency to sometimes be a little bit hyper. And like I said in this video, I wish I could be like that all the time. I think that would be like super entertaining. The next best thing would be playing a game while drunk. So the moral of this story is always crank your flashlight? Good to know! Also, great video and love the outro music. Well, that game was kind of ridiculous and I probably was a little harsher on it than I should have been, maybe? I don't know. It was acting a lot buggier during this recording than it actually was when I was checking it out the first time. So I was getting a little bit annoyed, I guess. And if you watch all my Let's Plays to the very end, I do like to use a catchy th outro song. And I've tried to make it so that I use one particular song for a series. So it'll have the same song at the end of each video, uh, as long as it's part of the same series. I might be over explaining this. But yeah, check it out. And also, I hope you guys like Chiptune. I know I do. I would want to say something nice about this game, but I have to stop writing this comment because my battery is dying. I see what you did there. only got one comment for this video. I suppose taking 10 months to finish one game series doesn't exactly deserve much pomp and circumstance, but I can't help it. I have to adult a lot and it gets in the way of my gaming. Nothing like a good old 8-bit game that confuses the heck out of you. I admit, I did start out confused as all heck on uh, what I was supposed to do with Golgo 13. And to be perfectly honest, I still am. 
There's probably a reason I didn't pick it up when I was a kid. It would have probably made me rage quit like nobody's business back then. Maybe they're all wearing tan shoes? As I said earlier, if you want context for some of these, you can always check out the video that the comments were from. But, I will elaborate for this one. I made a comment on somewhere in the video that it looks like everybody is barefoot because of the way they drew the characters and uh, the limitations on color palettes, I suppose. There you go. I've heard YouTube is a mess, so that might be why. It could also be that people are busy and end up missing it. I know that's what happened to me a few times. And yeah, the commentary is hard. That's one of the reasons I quit as a gaming channel. That and I like animation much more. I applaud anyone who grinds it. It is YouTube's fucking up. The way it shares videos for other people and new people, so the views problem is happening to every small channel, sadly. Man, tell me about it. Commentary is crazy hard to do without experience. My mind is... I'm used to short comments, not... Novels. <laughs> oh, I'm just kidding, guys. Thank you so much, Kay, and thank you, Cloud. You guys are awesome, and I'm glad you guys stick around as much as you can. It definitely feels good to know that I have people that come by regularly. I forgot this game was a thing. It's so unique, I love it. Also, Jacksepticeye? I know, I was excited to hear it too. I didn't know he got a voice acting part in the game. I actually recently downloaded Bendy and the Ink Machine from Steam to my computer too. And I'm thinking about doing a let's play my of it myself after seeing you play it. I know that it's going to be fun. Yeah, do it Terran. I'd like to see your take on it. Maybe you'll catch something I missed. Ah, who am I kidding? Of course you'll find something I missed. <laughs> Stopping the express was a little challenging. Stay calm. Oh, the puns! Little do we know, this game tells the unseen story of Han Solo and Leia. And it would also explain why there was a hieroglyph of C-3PO and R2-D2 in Indiana Jones. <gasps> Illuminati confirmed! <laughs> oh, Rando, I love these videos, and you are awesome. I am a kiss-ass, but only in a sweet way. Sweet in which regard? Hey, I made it! <laughs> they are tough, but totally worth it. Yes, yes you did. And I agree, montage videos are worth it when you can actually put them together. Maybe I should do another one. <laughs> the console lives matter had me laughing my butt off. That was a great skit. The console lives matter skit was hilarious. I'm glad I made that joke and you were able to capitalize on it. Well, you know the old saying. I, th I think it's an old saying. I might have made it up. Nah. Funny is in the eye of the beholder. Does that apply? I am glad that you gave me that gold to work with, Gamma, and thank you everybody who enjoyed it. I'm glad it was well received. Wow, very great editing and commentary. I will be sure to comment more and watch your videos from now on. I would love to have one of my comments read in one of your reading comments videos. Keep up the great work. Looks like I granted somebody's wish. Laughing like a million squeals while writing this comment. All those replies were on point. Ha! Console lives matter. And yeah, you really should play Soma at some point. Trust me, it will amaze. Trademark copyright Amazing Random. Maybe I should trademark that. I wish I was half as chill as this guy. I know, right? My place has ghosts. Okay. Let me just Google that. 
Like you, I'm far too logical for that game. One-off Wednesdays equals awesome idea. Thank you, Sue. I'm glad you approve. And I hope that everyone else likes this idea as well. Not a whole lot of people agreed on it when I took a poll, but uh, not everybody on Twitter also checks out my YouTube channel, so they might not have known. Rando is slowly turning into an anime character with that hair. <laughs> also, Alice is my favorite Bendy character. Well, I've got the typical cluelessness of an anime protagonist, <laughs> so why not? And yeah, I kind of agree with you. Alice is an intriguing character. I kind of want to know what's going on with that. I don't know if that sounds right or not. Yeah, I'm sure it'll be fine. And people complain Cuphead is hard. This is possibly the best retro game I've seen you play. Thanks, Howard. And yeah, it, it is really... What do I say about Challenger? It's got me hooked. My Halloween will consist of probably watching scary movies and ignoring the children that come to my door for trick-or-treating so I can eat the candy myself. <laughs> oh yes, I would do the same thing except nobody comes to my door. Not sure what that says about me. I will be celebrating my birthday. I will be 21 for the 228th time. Well, either you're one saucy vampire or you're bad at numbers. Anyway, I hope you had a fantastic birthday, Howard. You were very jumpy in this video. It was very enjoyable. Oh, you little evil sadist, you. Ooh, I played this. This game is evil, pure jump scare evil. You will see. But good thing is, you get used to it. Or do you? You, Salty, are actually the one who uh, I heard about Dungeon Nightmares from. So, thank you. And also, screw you. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Love you, boo. I'm getting boned from behind. Then don't drop the soap. Dungeon, pretty much prison. I see what you did there. <laughs> Screw you. Mate, they move. They fuck move. It's scary as... I feel your pain. I know you do, brother. I know you do. Great stuff, dude. This game is a little freaky. <laughs> oh, and by the way, the intro is awesome. I love it. You mean the animated intro or the uh, the middle snippet stuck at the front? Either way, thank you. I'm going to miss the suits, but I want to buy this game now. Do it. It's fun. Whoa. Awesome, buddy, bringing some Super Mario to the channel. Can't wait to see more. This is a lot of fun seeing you play it. Thanks, Taryn. I hope to bring more Mario to the channel as soon as my Switch is repaired. Actually, I just need to replace a Joy-Con, nothing major, but still. You're talking about Danny Elfman as the composer of Tim Burton films. Danny Elfman, yes! Thank you. That was driving me nuts. And despite having internet in front of my face, I didn't look it up. I think Dumpy got you beat with that costume. Oh well. But yeah, I do believe that's a Jack Skellington jacket. Am I right? Mainly because there's a Kingdom Hearts logo pin on the jacket. Well, that's an Alkaline Trio pin, but uh, I suppose close enough. And yeah, that bastard does like to try and one-up me. I'll get him one day. I'm excited for the new retrospect. 
Also, is it weird we have the same costume? Kind of, because that was pure accident. <laughs> I think you had a better jacket than I did, though. I actually do owe you guys that particular episode, because I hyped it up a little bit, and I still haven't finished it. Different formats are hard. Awesome video. Keep the good work up. The mustache looks good on you. <laughs> I must ask you a question. Okay, Holly. I'm all ears. Well, guys, that's the end of the comments for last month. Tune in soon because I. Ah, nah. Tune in. I suppose next month for uh, this month's comments because that's how this shit works. Either way, thank you guys for watching this one. If you liked it, let me know by giving that like button a bop. Leave comments down below. And if you're new to my channel and haven't subscribed yet, eh, that's something you could do, maybe. I don't know. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Hopefully, it'll amaze.